Hi, today we are going to see Lalitha Sahasranamam, Shloka 62, Recitation and Word by Word Meaning. Dhyana Dhyatra Dhyaya Rupa Dharma Dharma Vivarjida Vishwarupa Jagarini Swapanti Taicha Satmika Dhyana Dhyatra Dhyaya Rupa Dharma Dharma Vivarjida Vishwarupa Jagarini Swapanti Taicha Satmika Dhyana Dhyadra Dhyaya Rupa Dharma Dharma Vivarjida Vishwarupa Jagarini Swapanti Taicha Satmika Now let's see the word by word meaning Dhyana Dhyadra here we take um, dhyana dhyadra dheya rupa together. So dhyana dhyadra dheya rupa. <clears throat> so dhyana means meditation and dhyadra means the person who is meditating. Dheya means um, the Something that you are meditated upon. And rupa. Rupa means the form or object that you are focusing to meditation. So, dhyana dhyadra dhyaya rupa means Devi is the meditation form in which the person is meditating when they are doing shlokas or yaknas or whatever dharma they are doing. So, they will have one focus to do and that will be the Devi. So, and um, Devi is the power who is beyond the dharma. And Devi is the personification of meditation and the being who meditates and what is being meditated upon. So when you think of Devi and doing any shlokas or recitation and there the Devi will really um, have the presence in front of the devotee. When they are truthfully trusting the Devi and doing the puja. So, where that um, form of the Devi will appear in front of the devotee when they are putting their heart on whatever shloka they are reciting. That's why Devi is called Dhyana Dhyadra Dhyaya Rupa. Dharma Adharma Vivarjida. We take those two words together. So we say that dharma and adharma. That means Devi is transcends both good as well as evil. That means dharma means the way of life that a devotee should live upon. Adharma means the violence or evil thoughts, evil actions evil words that a devotee should never perform. Vivarjida. Vivarjida means Devi is beyond the justice and an injustice that a normal human beings has it. Because for Devi, everything that should be performed by a devotee should be Dharma. And no uh, adharma should be supported according to the situation. The adharma is done means that is not accepted. Even with the uh, explaining the situation or explaining uh, the circumstances, whatever it is for Devi, she is beyond the dharma and adharma and she just believes that she just trusts that the devotee always follow what is right to do. 
and there is no support for any injustice that is being done by a devotee. Even thoughts also is considered to be a karma. So even the devotee should never think ill about others. That's why Devi is called Dharma Adharma Vivarjida. Vivarjida means she hates it. The Devi will not accept anything that is beyond what it should be done. One thing has to be done correctly in only one way and that should be always without hurting others. Hurting someone and doing a justice is not accepted by Devi. Vishwarupa. Vishwa means the whole world. Rupa means the form. Vishwarupa means Devi has the whole world perceived in the waking state because everybody undergoes three states. That is waking state and dream state and deep state. So during the waking state, that means when you go to sleep, you undergo three levels. So the first level is waking state where you be aware of what is happening in and around you. But you may or may not respond. So the second one is the dream state where you will have a conversation with your subconscious mind. Whatever events happened that day, previous day, previous years and when you were childhood. So those things are stored in the subconscious mind and you will have a contact with it. And the deep sleep is the uh, time where your soul will have a conversation with Bhagavan, with Devi. So all these states are controlled by uh, a specific um, power. So Devi has the power of controlling each and every devotee's different states so that they, when they wake up, they will have a fresh mind in a sattvika, means always think good. So uh, Devi will control everybody to follow that sattvika dharma, like always think, do and act good. That's why Devi is the uh, Vishwarupa. And Devi is other, really the form of the universe that we perceive today. That's why Devi is called Vishwarupa. Jagarini. Jagarini means Devi is always in the waking state. That means Devi is always awake. Devi is always ready to come and help you. Devi is there at what time, what place, what um, location. Anything doesn't matter for Devi. Devi will be there readily available for any devotee. When they call her, she will come and uh, give any support. That's why Devi is called Jagarini. Swapanti Taicha Satmika. So we can uh, do Swapanti first. Swapanti. Swa means self. Panti means like. Uh, we have that dream state. So, Devi will be always in the state of dream also. When we are in the awake state, they will be, be there. When we are in the state of dream, Devi will be there. When we are in the deep sleep, they will, Devi will be available. So, in all these states, the power who is guiding us to have a complete rest for our brain, body, soul and everything to relax so that they start a new day with all the supreme power of Satvika. 
for that devi is helping each and every creation that's why devi is there in the state of awake devi is there in the state of dream devi is there in the state of deep sleep and devi will always be awake for each and every devotee that's why devi is called swapanti taicha satmika taijas that means tejas or uh she is so beautiful and radiant that's why she is devi is the soul of taijasa that is one of the jeevas when your body is with the soul that's why our face our body is looking so lively when you see a dead body it will be not that much radiant or fresh or happy or any kind of emotions because the soul is already departed from the body so the power that is making our body so vibrant so much of attraction is because of the uh, soul that is inside us that soul is devi that is experience that we are experiencing whether it is a good or bad that kind of um, our experience or emotions or uh, uh, past uh, uh, we had like any uh, good or bad memories everything we are carrying in the subconscious mind so only if you clear it out you will have a fresh mind fresh body fresh soul so that experience will be keep on haunting in our body that's why we have a fear always that fear needs to be removed from the body that can be done only with the help of devi that's why atma means soul atmika means the uh, power who is controlling the soul that is devi so taija satmika means the microbial concept where the a uh, whole body is controlled by a very uh, amazing soul which makes us uh, think which is a part of a mind for a good fresh mind we should always make sure our soul is preserved very very nicely that's why we always say that meditation is very helpful because when you focus and think we know that there is no um nothing to be carried in our body that burden should be taken away when you keep on meditation you will have the power to do it you will know how to differentiate a good mind and how to make it a good mind so that's why devi is there for us to guide at every point of time that's why devi is called taijas atmika ध्यान ध्यादृ ध्येय रूप धर्म अधर्म विवर्जित विश्वरूप जागरिणी स्वपंति तैचसात्मिका ध्यान ध्यादृ ध्येय रूप धर्म अधर्म विवर्जित विश्वरूप जागरिणी स्वपंति तैचसात्मिका ध्यान ध्यादृध्येय रूप धर्म धर्म विवर्जित विश्वरूप जागरिणी स्वपंती तैचसात्मिका थैंक यू